driving down Chula Vista. We call it Chula, Chula Wana. Wana because it's yeah. close to Tijuana. Go look at a boat. Billy, now this is all My about day off, Billy. I get to go look at another boat. Yes, but why are we looking at another boat? Uh, well, it's all about me. It's a boat that I knew of when I was a kid. It's original owners. It's only been sold one time in the last three years. It's a 54 foot Sparkman and Stevens design. Cowrie Wood built. I thought it was 56. No, it might be. I think it's 56. I'm trying to keep it a little smaller yeah. so <laughs> the missus goes along. So I can. So Billy wants a bigger boat. Yeah, well, I've always and liked this boat in particular. I know. Well, it's a big boat. And it's a definitely a big boat. It would be a. It's a. It was built to withstand a pitch poling in a hurricane, basically. It was built in New Zealand. And it's built out of a species of wood called cowrie that is illegal to even forest or cut down anymore. What, what makes cowrie wood so? Cowrie is like better than, better than teak. Yeah. Really? yeah. Okay. It's a beautiful, lightweight, strong, rot resistant. So they did a, it's like a triple or quadruple diagonal uh, strip planking type of gold molded, they call it untypical because me being the wife usually the wife wants the bigger boat and <laughs> I'm pretty much against this so yeah. um, it's gonna be hard sell for me because I came from a 55 foot boat a lot of you know checkmate that aluminum race boat <laughs> and it was a beast it was not only just a beast to handle but it just to put it somewhere uh, you know the costs go up exponentially as far as slippage plus um, just the size of the boat you know everything triples lines sales yeah you know, insurance insurance dockage so i don't know weights is, but i might fall in love with it we'll see but um so we're gonna drive there right now meet the broker it's down at pier 32 and uh see what it's like well it's kind of exciting i i like uh looking at prospective boats that you mm -hmm. could possibly buy <laughs> You guys are coming. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, it's like a frame, and then there's Jesus Christ. So there's a stringer. Oh, yeah. There's stringers every 10 inches, as well as frames every 18 inches. Mm -hmm. And it's. And it's cool. So the stringers are actually. The stringers are redundant anyway. Okay, Jamie, let's get the woman's personal opinion of the interior. Smells like an old wood boat. Wow, it's nice and open. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's the stainless galley. Deep freezer. Holy crap. Could go around the world. Nice stainless galley. Wow, look at this old. This thing is. I'm sure it still works, though. Oh, that's nice. I love the fridge. God damn, that's cool. So roomy. Wide yeah. <laughs> You're definitely going over. There's a nice big crack here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was going to see if you wanted to feel her because her feet are right here. And she's kissing like that. Like yeah.
it's an impressive boat. The it way it's built. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's Jake said it was built like a tank. Yeah, and it, and it is massively built. Didn't see anything really wrong with the structure. Well this it was kinda of looked like it was overbuilt. Like uh -huh. the stringers were the stringers are huge. I don't know. Boat's probably really thick. Did you see it's any, got fiberglass any over it. leaking? Really. Around the frames, or? Yeah. There was uh, definitely needs some love, and the, and the, the rigging is going to have to be replaced. The rigging is going to be an issue, and if, I swear to God, like if we get this boat, I'll be working every day for, yeah. us, for at least a year or two. I mean, just even every. clean it is going to be going to take. Yeah, I mean everything needs at to least come out. A few months. All the interior needs to be cleaned. And there's old carpet. Guess little spaces guess, all over. Guess what I'm going to be doing? Another project. Yeah. <laughs> getting one of rid one project and getting it, even getting a, about a ten bigger more, project. Ten, ten others. So, um, so I don't know. I'm still like on the fence. Really on the fence about it. Plus, yeah, it's, it's a lot. That would it would be a big undertaking. But it's the kind of boat that literally you can go around the world in. Yeah. No, um, no problem. For, it was like 400 gallons of fuel, 403 or 400 in water. water There's a plus water maker. Water maker. Generator, the fridge was huge. I mean, Power hungry boat too for that reason. I mean, well, I guess you'd have to put some solar panels on it. So it's going to take a lot yearly, even just to maintain. So if we bite this off, I think Jake was saying at, at least fifteen thousand dollars a year just to keep it maintained, and that's not above and beyond what you have to fix mm -hmm. or replace. So there's a couple things that we want to do before we even make a decision on our decision. <laughs> it's uh, people that built the boat, which is a New Zealand salt house. Uh -huh. They're still around and are doing actually quite well. So um, we, found, we think we want to call the, the builders owner the, and the original owner that built the boat and then the yard that built the boat or the builders. So um, and see if we can get some plans maybe. Yeah, if get we, some plans to see a little bit more how it's constructed. We'd have to haul it out of the water eventually if we did want to investigate it more. Also want to talk to the owner, the past owner, who knows more about the boat than anybody and he might be able to tell us the age of the rigging. Right. If so. we could if we could keep the rigging around here locally and use it uh -huh. before and then replace it slowly, otherwise that's that's thirty thousand dollars in just rigging. Yeah. Wow. And then uh, if you talk about the decks needing to be recocked. The decks, the deck on the on this thing is huge. It's all teak. And well, we could do that though. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, it's a lot of work. A lot of work, but it's it's. I've fun. done it before. And it's uh, it's gonna have to get all the seams redone eventually. Like dig out all the seams. You gotta reef out all the, the old ones. Yeah. Put in new. Now, what about the fasteners? Because I noticed a lot yeah. of some of the plugs were missing, were and they? then uh, the fasteners actually look pretty good shape, but yeah. you still probably want to pull them, rebed them. <laughs> All right. As long as, as, as long as they're not showing. All right. So stay tuned. See, I stay don't know. Yeah. You never know. We might have a 56 boat here coming up. Woohoo! Yeah. I got her a Tesla for an early birthday present, basically. So I'm going to show her right now. I'm going to go get her. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, what's up? I got uh, I got something to show you. I got you something for your Valentine's slash birthday present. Oh, you did? I did. What'd you get? Well, why don't you, you want to follow me over? Get hide your eyes. Where is it? How far do I gotta walk? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take over Birdie. Can gonna, I actually? Can does this around. drive? Is this actually? It's electric. Actually. You make it. Ready? Ready. Go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go for it. Woo! <laughs> 